when you've got a new topic or question you want to research at LinkedIn, how do you start? So the LinkedIn data is multifaceted. So there's a lot of different factors to look into. So what we, the way we start is by looking at a particular area or an idea that we have. For example, let's say that we want to look into uh, what time of the year people get promotions. Or let's say that we want to look at entrepreneurs and see how they're different from the rest of the LinkedIn population. Mm -hmm. um, so we just have a general area that we start looking into. And then I go in and explore the data and see what kind of stories it tells me. Is data skepticism a rare skill even among data scientists? Um, it can be. It can be. It depends. Um, I think a lot of the times you can you look at the data and you look at the conclusions it tells you, and um, you can decide that oh yeah that sounds about right, or you can pursue it further and try to get beyond that and try to look at what factors are um, external and fac factors that you could take out of the equation. Um, so you got to have a healthy dose of, of skepticism mm -hmm. um, as a data scientist, um, and um, that's how you find uh, th the right questions to ask. Is data skepticism a rare skill even among data scientists? It can be. Um, so when we're looking at data, there's a lot of different facets and a lot of external factors that we need to take into account and a lot of noise. Um, so it's important to look at your results and have a healthy dose of skepticism as a data scientist and say, oh, is that right or is there something else going on, something else that we want to take out? Um, so at that point, that's how you know to ask the right questions. For companies that are developing data products, at what point should they be worrying about scale? Is it something they should consider from the beginning or do they have to worry about it when they hit a certain tipping point? Um, you have to keep it in perspective from the beginning. You have to think about it, otherwise you accumulate too much technical debt. Um, but it's important not to optimize prematurely either, um, because having that initial fast, um, high-risk iteration uh, capability is important and is healthy for a small um, company. Um, but keeping it keeping it in mind that the kind of te techniques you're applying now might not scale um, and thinking ahead and thinking about the techniques that you do want to use that are going to scale uh, is important too. So, so for LinkedIn, um, that tipping point was around um, 20 to 30 million users. Mm. Um, I think this depends on each company and what exactly, what type of data they uh, record for each user and what type of data they use to make the user experience better. So this is a, last question is a bit of an odd question for you. Do you identify yourself as a data scientist? And if so, when did you start using that term? Um, yeah, I do identify myself as a data scientist. Um, and I believe that started around 2009. Mm. Um, before that, um, we were calling ourselves analytic scientists. But we really didn't know what uh, what term to use. We are looking for a concise term to describe what we do. Um, and I think data scientists does it. Great. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.